In this video, you will learn about VLOOKUP. It's the most common and powerful formula used in Microsoft Excel. So let's start by defining VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP stands for Vertical Lookup and it's a function in Microsoft Excel. It's used to search for a specific value in a column of data and then return a corresponding value from a specified row in the same table. Okay, so this was the definition of VLOOKUP. But the easiest way to learn this function is to look at an example. Let's say you have a table of data containing employee information. I'm going to use VLOOKUP to locate my employees and their salaries based on particular ID value in this list. By the way, Kylie Jenner is not my employee. This is just an example. Don't take it too seriously. To get started, let's begin by entering the VLOOKUP command. As you can see, the VLOOKUP function takes four parameters. The first parameter is the value you are trying to locate in the first column of the table. In this example, you want to search for ID number 44. The second parameter is the table or source of the data. VLOOKUP will use the range provided and must include both the first column that will be searched for your first parameter value and the column containing your hopeful result. You will provide either a range of cells or a named range for this parameter. For example, you will enter this range. The third parameter is the position number in the table where the return value can be found. A value of 1 indicates the first column in the table. A value of 2 indicates the second column and so on. Since you are looking for the name of your employee, you will enter a 2 which represents this cell. Finally, and most importantly, is VLOOKUP's fourth parameter. This parameter determines whether an exact match or an approximate match will be done when looking for the first parameter. A value of false means VLOOKUP is looking for an exact match. A value of true means that an approximate or close match will be returned. But this is important. Unless you have a specific reason for looking for an approximate match, you should always use false to return an exact match. Otherwise, the VLOOKUP could return some unexpected results. Now that you have entered all of VLOOKUP's parameters, let's complete the command to examine our result. You should see the employee name Clark appear. This is the employee name that corresponds to the ID number 44 that you searched for. Okay, so this covered a simple example of how to use Excel's VLOOKUP function. Now let's see a bit more complicated example of how to use VLOOKUP. So here is the second set of data that I have in my workbook. Here you can see I have written names of some columns from this table. So if you want to look at some information from a large set of data, VLOOKUP comes in very handy. Let's say I want to see the number 7. I want to see which product is listed at number 7 and its quantity. What I have to do is I'll type 7 here and then in the next cell I'll write the VLOOKUP formula. Press is equal to VLOOKUP. Then I'll select this particular cell. After that I have to select this whole table and uh, this whole table from where I want to search my particular product name. Press comma then look at which column is the product name located here. It's in the second column, so I'll have to write 2 here. Press comma and then uh, there are again those two options. I'll write false here and press enter. And yes, I got the product name here. Now to look for the quantity of the melons in my table, I'll write here is equal to we look up, select this table. And uh, you can see that the quantity is written in the fourth column of the table. So I'll write 4 here. And then I'll select false, press enter, and yes, I caught the quantity of this product, melons. All right. So these were two easy examples of VLOOKUP. Excel also has HLOOKUP, and I'll discuss that in my next video. If you want to learn Excel from scratch, you can check out our channel. If you found this video helpful, please share it with others so they can also get benefit from our content. Thanks for watching this video.